because it could change. Are you still liking the podcast platform? I love the podcast platform. It gives me a free a, a place to have free speech. Uh, Google is so censoring, uh, and Facebook so censoring what you can and what they're posting these days. If you t- typed in two years ago, uh, how to naturally help yourself with a virus, you'd had many, many people who posted all of their opinions, some of which was worthless, some of which was valuable and in between. Well, guess what you get today? On the first 10 pages, it's all handpicked by Google so that you can only get semi or very conservative ideas about how to treat anything. And 70% of the world still uses botanical medicines because it's effective and cheap if you know what you're doing, but not in this country. We're being censored by uh, the social media platforms and people need to realize that you have to find the trusted websites like Mercola.com, NutritionW.com, uh, other ones that you trust to go to now. You can't expect it to pop up because it will not happen. Uh, I about messaged you earlier. I did another video with John Ballinger and a friend of mine, Eric Buchanan, and we're doing one around the Constitution. Uh, we're actually do- they're both historians and businessmen, and so we're actually talking about uh, the disconnect in the American experiment, how we started where we're at and how we got to where we're at uh, or how we started where we, you know, how we started the country. And today's topic was about associations. And one of the things that I've talked to you about, and you may not even remember it a long time ago was the different food associations that, that started changing how we look at sugars and our food pyramid 30, 40, 50 years ago. And I about got you involved in that conversation. Yeah, that's uh, it is. Uh, uh, it could be an hour conversation. It's uh, it's despicable. It's almost criminal. Well, and they, you know, I, the reason I was thinking about it is we start realizing that the associations that we give in ourselves and the government and as much influence as they have affects the world we live in on an everyday basis. What we buy, what we consume, how we interact with our leaders. And anyway, I just thought it was ironic that the first thing I thought of in that conversation was Ed Jones would love this topic. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. So you love him podcast. The store's doing great. Podcast doing great. Radio's doing great. But I want to talk to you about a new product that right now, if people are watching this and they want to go see anything about it, they're going to have to go to the Nutrition World YouTube channel, but it'll be coming out on Facebook today or tomorrow. But you have a new breakfast drink. Well, I've always been kind of talking, educating people about the effects of starting your day correctly or starting your day incorrectly. And I've been on TV this morning. Uh, I did a video at the gym yesterday where I, I, I've turned 63 today. So I'm doing this as a platform to help impress people that you can change your life without a whole lot of effort if you take this one single step. And what that is, is I've looked at blood work extensively the past decade, and I have observed very clearly that inflammation, which creates damage and aches and pains, uh, blood chemistry that produces disease and helps us to, or doesn't help us to be a, a good with uh, viruses or anything else. All of these are set in place by what you consume the very first part of the day. If you eat a, a breakfast that is carbohydrate laden, chemical laden, doesn't have enough fat in it, you have doomed yourself. You're in what I call a doom loop. And that doom loop means that I don't care how much quality lunch and supper and supplements you take, you have pretty much put water in your gas tank of your car and it's simply not going to run well. So what I've realized and what I've observed very, very cleanly and clearly within myself and many of my clients is if we can start the day with the right macros, the right protein, fats, and carbs, and it's clean, organic, you have actually the ability to make mistakes the rest of the day and really journey through that. If you want, and I said this today already, I've said it yesterday multiple times, if you want to lose weight, you want to have better brain activity, less inflammation, and you want to feel better all the way around, all you got to do is drink my elixir drink. That's all you have to do. I'm not asking you to take any nothing. If you'll do this for two weeks, you will be amazed how much better you feel. I eat breakfast one day out of the week, and I drink my breakfast six days out of the week. And honestly, the day I eat, I don't feel as well as the day that I drink it. And what we did is I have go- I've gone around the corner many times on what is the drink that makes the blood chemistry right. 
Well, it's a type of keto drink. It has healthy fat, healthy protein, and low carbs, but it also has other things. So the drink itself, in fact, if you type on nutritionw.com the word birthday, you will see the package. It's really easy because it's a certain keto powder. All you're going to do is put two scoops in cold water, a certain fiber. Hemp is the only fiber I'm now recommending. I don't recommend flax because flax has too much omega-6 in it. And then thirdly is greens powder, which I know you're a huge fan of. Why do we need greens powder? It protects the kidneys and it protects the liver. It makes you not acid. It helps you get rid of toxins. It does hundreds of things that vitamins do not do. And then I add, if I can, some organic blueberries. All that in cold water. Do it six days a week. Takes you four minutes to do it, and it will change your chemistry. When your chemistry changes, your life will change. It's not about pushing away from the table. It's about fixing your chemistry if you need to lose weight. This is halfway. Uh, you'll always get halfway to your goal just by doing this, and we have discounted it by about 40% for only uh, about eight days. To start well, well, I was just going to ask a couple quick questions. So I think once you start doing your your the the drinks right and start really focusing, not only will you not have to push away from the table, it will change how you sit at the table. It will change your habits at the table anyway. I mean, you know, if you're doing other stuff right, then your habits around the table will be different. What you choose to eat, because there's something about a mindset, Ed, and you know this better than I do. But if I'm going to start the day off right and with my food and maybe my quiet time, I really am motivated and I'm invested in not screwing it up the rest of the day. <laughs> that is a big, big, uh, important part that you just said. And secondly, the drink reduces cravings so that when you do go eat lunch and supper, you're not looking at donuts like we talked about. And we, we don't even look at crackers and things because you don't crave it because carbohydrates are a drug. First off, they burn dirty, which means they kind of do damage to the body. But they also are addictive to a level that no other food is addicted like carbohydrates because it sparks the brain like caffeine does. And the more you get, the more you want. And we need to rearrange that chemistry. Uh, ideally, the whole day should be rearranged to be as more healthy. But right now, I'm asking people a challenge to do it only in the morning for two weeks. I went to the gym yesterday morning at, uh, early, as I always do, and I did 63 push-ups film that's going to be posted later. I did uh, 63 upside down push-ups hanging off an Olympic bar. I did 16, only because it had the uh, number six in it, 16 chin-ups all the way up and all the way down. And then I jumped rope like a crazy man. Uh, and I can tell you right now, I could not probably do that if I had not been doing this drink because it just it just supplies what I need to do what I need. Well, we do fuel the cycle. I mean, good, you know, momentum's a real thing, either in the right direction or wrong direction. And I live this, you know, we go in and out of taking care of ourselves again, whether it's spiritually, financially, or through our phys our body. But if you're eating a bunch of carbs and you're a coffee drinker like I am, guess what you try to fix your ca your carb crash with later? More caffeine which spikes it. And that's where you get your up and down, eat tons of bread, tons of sugar. I fix my crash by drinking coffee. I get hungry again and I'd eat the, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a vicious cycle. Um, real quick. I want to make sure I understand the drink. So is this drink you're making combined with three, two or three different things, or have you combined them all into one drink? Well, you have to purchase the three things. There you that's go. The special comes in. You get one bag of powder, of, of the keto powder, you get one container of the greens powder and one container of the hemp fiber, and then you purchase your own blueberries, organic, they need to be, it's not organic, don't do them. So uh, again, all this is just breakfast drinks at least five days a week. Try to hit six if you can, and then on one day a week, you need to go ahead and eat breakfast, and just so that you don't get burned out on the drink. Does the drink taste good? It tastes dang good if you do it right. And I do recommend cold water only. Too many of those milks out there have too many carbs. We have to stop this drug addiction in the morning or else you will have addictions the rest of the day. I'm not adverse to coffee either. I think there's nothing wrong with two good cups in the morning. But you're right. Sometimes we do end up doing too much of that. Um, I, I'll tell you something I've learned with the green drink and you may find there may be something that that's, I'm doing wrong with it. But I put it in the crystal light which has no sugars in it. It's fine. Works great. I love that.
And the green drink has your probiotics. So you're feeding the microbiome, which has to do with your brain chemistry and your immune system. I mean, we're all about immune systems today. And I'm, you know, uh, Dr. Green and myself on Vital Health Radio, when all of this crazy hysteria started in March, every single radio show, we harp on the fact that we are not going to give in to the culture of fear. We're going to promote the culture of calmness and wise thinking, because even Dr. Green said early on, this is being blown up to a level that is truly insane. That does not mean we should not use proper precautions. It doesn't. It doesn't mean we throw the baby out with the bath. But we know that every 96% of all people who have severe symptoms from this virus have less than 29 nanograms per milliliter of vitamin D. That's why Nutrition World gives away vitamin D to teachers and healthcare workers with IDs. Other countries are actually giving it free to the to the to everyone who works because the studies are clear. Guess how many times the government's come out and said, we think you should raise your vitamin D level. None. Why do you think Latin, uh, 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 Latinos and, and other dark-skinned people have two to three times more death rate? It's because they're low in vitamin D. You can't make D with dark skin. Why don't we give them the five dollar remedy? Because we're in a corrupt country. Yeah, it's it, well, and, and it, again, it feeds itself. We're not used to doing that. We don't have the mindset of the preventative stuff. No, we don't. But this one is waking people up. We have never been busier at Nutrition World. We've never had more physicians who personally come in and get their things, but they cannot talk about it to their patients because they're being railroaded terribly with pressure, and they're not going to say anything except to the closest ones. Well, we're going to say this twice. Uh, I want to say it once now, then we're going to play a little game of guess that podcast. And then uh, we'll say it again, but you have a, you do blood work tomorrow. We are doing blood work the last Friday of every month tomorrow, which is Friday. Uh, we'll be here from eight to 11. You walk in. I prefer people to fast in case the blood test needed fasting, unless you're just checking vitamin D or testosterone or hormones. You don't need to fast for that. But anything else I'd recommend, you know, don't about 12 hours. So you could eat supper tonight and be perfectly fine. Uh, but they will be here from eight to 11. You can choose any test you want, but there are panels. If you want to check everything nutritionally and health wise, keep in mind when you get a physical, the amount of money that is, uh, that, that is being spent on your blood work is truly about $17. There's no way you can check really what's going on for $17. If you want everything checked, I'm talking everything, it would be about $320, but you don't need to spend that much. You may just want your hormones checked. Most things are between $50 and $100, but I still push people for the vitamin D. If they do nothing else, come get a vitamin D check because you can tell how you feel, whether it's low or not. I have to do 14,000 units per day to maintain bare minimum. Other people can do it with 2,000. If I had not had 11 tests, I would have never figured that out. Uh, that's tomorrow morning, 8 to 11 in Nutrition World. And you're located right there on Lee Highway across from the sports barn. Is that correct, sir? That's correct. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's do this. I want to go back and look at some of your podcasts that you've done. And all I really want to do is use this for promotional purposes because I want people that watch this video to go back and look at uh, and pull up some of your shows. So I want to just pull up uh, the, the three that I liked or I saw and I wanted to get your take on what it was about. Um, hold on one second. Where is the CBD one? The five things we need to know about CBD. Do you remember doing that one? Oh, yeah. We did three CBD ones, and that was one. Oh, this one was January 14th. Go back and listen to it. But what are, what are one or two of the things people need to know about CBD? Well, one is that, yes, you can test positive for THC. If you're in a job, I recommend you don't do any. Even the brands that say it's not going to make you test positive. Secondly is... Uh, CBD is a miraculous uh, substance compound that the body craves. This isn't like you walk into a health food store or a drug store and you, you, let's say you are wanting to relax and you buy some valerian root or you go and you buy Salmonex or something. Your body doesn't make those things. It doesn't make valerian root. It doesn't make Salmonex. But what it does make is cannabinoids. Cannabinoids are what run the body. It's like the master controller that's putting, uh, pushing all the buttons to make your brain work and your body work to keep everything balanced. When you're out of balance, which most people are, 
Uh, we need to do everything we can to find a more central place so that we can have better health. And CBD is one of those. I interviewed a physician on the podcast uh, on brain trauma, and he treats people who have concussions that people who have concussions are being so poorly treated in this city and this country because we know there's five nutrients that if you can take in within one week of concussion, concussions, you will probably recover 100%. Most people who have concussions will never get to the 100% because they don't access what they need to be doing. CBD is like number one. And, and you do it like even preventatively. I do it every day. I don't really have a reason to do it because there's you can't take cannabinoids in vitamins or in anything else. You have to get them from a food like like hemp. I you know, and I was surprised when I started learning more about it with you guys. Uh, two things: you have people on staff, and this is what they do is research this. So it's not just they're not picking out promotional flyers and then throwing it on the shelves. And second is the different CBD uh, products, or I guess uh, whatever, do different things. Like there's some that actually are better for anxiety. I had no idea there were different types of CBD. Well, there's hundreds of cannabinoids, and each one is. <clears throat> brand is made up of a different consistency based on the soil, the harvesting, the seeds, everything that can affect that. And in fact, Garden of Life just came out with gummies that I love it because they labeled it stress CBD, sleep CBD, inflammation CBD. So you get to kind of pick it from the label. And so if you can't sleep at night, you get to sleep when you chew two little gummy bears and generally you will find relief in most cases, not all. Um, how about one you did on June 26th and the title of it was, let me get back over here, Why Omega-3s Matter So Much. And you did that with Amber, uh, is it Vital or Vitali of Garden Life? Garden Probably Life. Unbelievable expert on the Omega-3s. You know, the devil's in the details. I don't care if you're buying a computer or you're, you're getting nutritional supplements, but even more in health, you got to figure out the super details to get to the level of optimal and part of this is I am very disappointed in many companies who make omega-3s. Why? Because if the fish are swimming in polluted mercury-filled waters, guess what's in the capsule? It's going to be the same thing. You basically are what your food eats. So if you're eating fish that has eaten bad things, you become that. You become damaged by that. Well, we have in the nutrition world, we have vetted every single product that we even have suspicion is not optimal. Uh, and I'm bragging because no other store I've ever been into has done this. Stores almost always sell what people want. Nutritional sells what people need. And that's a tough road to hoe because a guy came in yesterday and he wanted this certain brand of, of, of nutrient. Sir, we don't carry Spring Valley because we don't feel that they are the kind of level of quality that we want. He got mad at us and left. I'm sorry. I can sleep at night knowing we stock the right stuff. But Omega-3, and we do a blood test for this. In fact, Dr. McCullough came out just this week and said the same thing that I've been saying based on other research. Your omega-3 levels is the greatest predictor of mortality that any blood test can show. Really? Cholesterol has nothing, nothing compared to omega-3 levels. If your omega-3 levels are at what we call an 8 index, your chance of mortality in the next 10 years is, is pr practically non-existent from a health disorder. And if people who get a, a, that level, they're having to eat healthy and or supplementing. Uh, it's the one blood test I have not done in years, and I might actually get my arm stuck tomorrow just to get that one read. I'm sure I'm close to it, but I'm never. you never know without blood testing. Wow. Okay, well, let's do this one. Let's do the third one that I picked out. And this was because I think I know what it is, but I'm going to let you tell us. On uh, April 17th, you did one with Cheryl Myers of your Europharma and it's how to subdue adrenal fatigue. What is adrenal fatigue? Uh, it's pretty much what everybody's experienced now. If they didn't have it before, they have it now. They drink it on top of the kidneys. They're little, but what they do is produce the hormones that create energy, f fight or flight. Uh, when you need to raise your ability to be strong and focused and energetic, those little glands do wonderful things, but they're meant to be used as needed, which may be like in the normal setting of life, maybe a couple times a day at most, you might have some urgency that would create this need. Well, today it's constant from the emails to the phones to the morning till night. So what's happened is we've, we've created a system in our body where these little glands are not working very well. So you can't 
you, you have to motivate yourself to do the super superhuman things you used to do pretty quickly and easily. And, and what happens is it decreases quality of life because when it can't do this job, it's actually going under and doing uh, a far lesser job than even average. And that creates you to be a jellyfish. I mean, you literally have no life left in you and you're dragging your butt around all day long. I, and I sometimes joke about this when people read a little about and they come in and say, what's the cure for adrenal fatigue? I said, uh, a month in Maui. And <laughs> partially true. If we could totally unwind, totally disconnect, eat healthy food, ground ourselves on, on, on the earth and do all the right things, a month later, those adrenal glands would be far better, but we can't. So we have to supplement in order to do it. We have to address the sleep. Sleep is huge. As my demon is sleep because I work too much and I don't, I don't do well with that. I have tips that I use to manage it, but we have to sleep well and we have to support the adrenals. There are supplements that can do that. Uh, but it's vital for a healthy uh, life because you're not going to enjoy much if you don't have some adrenal function. Well, you know, and two, again, we, we talked a little bit about this with the carbs and the coffee cycle and how it can be vicious. If you get, again, most of us have this now, if we've experienced it, if you get really into that cycle of fatigue, every little thing becomes uh, super taxing on the body. So the stuff that, you know, normally it doesn't have, if you're that tired, the small, you don't have to be hit with big things. The small things become major obstacles to getting done. It does. And most of us use caffeine when we first start getting adrenal fatigue and it works really well because it pumps those adrenals. But that finally quits like all drugs will quit working. It means you have to use higher dosing. There's eventual where all of it quits working and caffeine is okay. Two cups a day, again, I think is healthy, but to keep doing red bulls and all these things, each time you get fatigued is the wrong answer. You're digging your grave with your knife and fork and your and your liquids. And the, the, the hope is to rearrange your life again, to have some downtime, meditative time, but to support the glands with less carbs, like my drink, and also to support with a nutritional supplement that can to help these things regain some vitality again. Uh, and it just makes life much better. Uh, am I adrenally fatigued? I'd say I'm partially, but if I did not do what I did do, I would be, I don't know how I would make it working six days a week, every single day, you know, try to fly airplanes, try to, I work out every single day and I do pretty dang well, but uh, I could do better if I uh, had more time off. Well, let's, let's do this. Let's talk about, again, I'm going to say it, Vital Health Radio. You can go to vitalhealthradio.com or it's on 98 One The Lake every Sunday at 9 a.m. You can go to theholisticnavigator.com or nutritionw.com and also YouTube. YouTube and Facebook, where he releases a lot of his uh, content about products and just some motivational stuff. But you have blood work tomorrow from 8 to 11 at Nutrition World on Lee Highway across from Sports Barn. And there are different levels of panels you can pick depending on what you're wanting to get checked, correct? Absolutely. And I will say that <clears throat> oh, I, I got my antibodies checked and I had COVID eight weeks ago when I was in Florida. I had uh, 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 two kind of hard, hard days, but because I know what to do, because we actually, there's a website called Stop, stopcovidcold.com. If you follow the advice on stopcovidcold.com, you will be perfectly fine in most cases. Uh, most physicians know very little about this because they, they're just not in the place where they get trained. This doesn't mean they don't care, but they just don't uh, have the knowledge. You have to enable your own knowledge base. And if you can do this and be, do it before, you can't get this done when you're sick because you already feel terrible. Uh, I only had two bad nights of coughing. I had two weeks of no appetite. I did still taste food. And I was I never even thought I had it then, but my fatigue and, and no appetite is not me. I had fatigue way beyond normal. And so when they were here last while, I said, uh, would you check my antibodies? And they called back the next day and said, you're the first person who has had full antibodies against COVID-19 SARS. Wow. And, I, and had an extra tequila that night because I can't give it and I can't get it. And I said in, in April, I said, I want the damn thing. If I didn't have to work for a living, I would run an ad on Facebook. I said, I want to breathe your breath if you're sick, because I want to prove to people that nourishment and nutrition, you can trust your body to do what it does and it will take care of you. And I always say this, 
the CDC says each of us has six to 10 virus infections a year. I'm 63, 63 freaking years old. That means I've had somewhere between 400 and 600 virus infections in my life. I'm still sitting here. I've never had a medication because there's not one. My body healed every one of them as it will do this one if you are if you do any common sense shit like take body B and you nourish yourself, you will probably be fine and not be obese. Have you thought though? I mean, this would be like if you get to heaven and figure this out, it's gonna be your worst nightmare. Can you imagine getting to heaven and, and learning that it was none of this stuff that helped you? It was the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> you could have you could have been eating donuts man yeah. you could have been just they you know man it's the tequila that kept you safe so well, you I'm never know of not having it so maybe around deep i do know that <laughs> all right well listen i want to encourage everybody to go to nutrition world tomorrow from 8 to 11 get the blood work check out the holistic navigator.com vitalhealthradio.com and nutritionw.com uh, if you don't do anything else, check out his stuff. But I take the the Green Vibrance Green Drink every day, and I, I highly suggest you take that. And I'm also on the the toolkit you have with the vitamin C, the vitamin D, uh, melatonin, a good vitamin, uh, multivitamin. So you got it all. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Clint. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Happy birthday! Oh, uh, thank you. Today is the day. Sixty three. You know, here I am still. So it's uh. I'm feel very fortunate that I'm still here able to do what I do. And I do want to give people a warning that there is a tequila shortage. <laughs> uh, I, almost every store is out and every restaurant is out of the stuff. So if you really believe in tequila, you got to make sure that you go get it now. Yeah. Ed Jones is buying tequila like everybody else bought toilet paper. <laughs> I don't even, don't even go there and look in my trunk right now. I'm just telling you bad news. If he has a car wreck, it's blowing up. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. All right. Thank you, Glenn. Bye, everybody.